when I heard the rustling. I wasn't phased. After all, it happened every night, and I'd been hearing it for two years. That's just what happens when you have mice living in your house. I'd been content to catch and release them whenever possible for a long time, but eventually I realized that it wasn't enough anymore. The last straw was when they somehow got into my cupboard. And not just the top of it, or the bottom drawer. They had somehow gotten into the main part, which was always closed, unless I needed something in it. So, I got all sorts of traps. I didn't care about cruelty-free or not, and I got a variety of types. It ended up being surprisingly effective, and majorly reduced the number of mice, although there were a few smart ones that avoided them. So, I came up with my own trap. I basically combined several types into one, and had laid them around the kitchen and near the holes and hangout spots. So, I wasn't phased when I heard the rustling, and I was ecstatic when I heard the trap go off. The joy didn't last long, though, as I went to check the trap. I saw something unlike anything I'd seen before. I stared at it, with its glowing yellow eyes, black fur, barbed tail, claws, and sharp teeth gripping a mouse carcass. I blacked out. When I woke up, it was gone, and my hand hurt. I looked down to see that it was covered in blood, and missing a giant chunk of flesh. I ended up moving out finding a more expensive but nicer apartment. It was worth it to get out of that overpriced hellhole. I don't know what that creature was, but I know one thing. It wasn't a mouse. <laughs>